Hey friends, I have a terrific sweet tooth recipe for you today. It is my grandma Lillian's classic peanut butter cookies. I had a great taste for them. And so I wanted to show you how I make them and I will have all of your ingredients listed below. So first I wanna start out with my dry ingredients. I have the flour, uh, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And I have sifted that into a bowl, set it aside. And now in another mixing bowl, I have the peanut butter granulated sugar and the butter and the butter. And I'm going to use my hand mixer to combine. You can also use your stand mixer if you want to. Um, either way, long as it gets mixed, even if you want to do it by hand, you know? So anyway, I've added in some brown sugar. And so I'm going to mix that to combine. And while we're waiting here, while I'm mixing this up, you guys, just go ahead and smash that button. Give me a little bit of support. Give your girl a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. And plus, it costs you absolutely nothing to do so. So next, we're gonna be adding in a little bit of milk. We're gonna be adding an egg, and we're gonna be adding in, I'm using vanilla bean paste. If you don't wanna use vanilla bean paste, use vanilla extract. Either way, it works and it has a both of them taste great in these cookies um you know your girl's just a little extra and she likes her bourbon vanilla bean paste so anyway i am stirring to combine this and then the next step you guys um these cookies actually if they're not soft you can go ahead and put if they're still pretty firm and not and the dough's not real soft you can go ahead and go straight into the oven so i would go ahead and preset your oven to 350 um, I'm adding in half of my flour now, and then I'm going to stir to combine, and then I'm going to add the remaining part of the flour. So my dough actually was a little um, warm, so I'm going to go ahead and pop it in the fridge for about an hour, and then you guys, of course, will wait for nothing. Um, we're going to be scooping these out next onto my uh, baking sheet. So use parchment paper if you don't have any. I have silicone mats that I'm using, or you can also use um, nonstick spray. That works as well to keep your cookies from sticking. So anyway, I'm using a one inch uh, ice cream scoop to, to measure out my cookies and keep them pretty even in size. And so once I get it out, I'm rolling it into a ball and then I'm gonna put them all out. And of course, I'm not gonna show you all of this. I'm gonna show you the next step. So the next step is I'm taking a fork and I dipped it in a little bit of water and then I dipped it in some granulated sugar and now I'm making the little crisscross that goes on the top of the peanut butter cookies. You guys know what I'm talking about. And so I'm just pressing it down a little bit and I'm gonna keep going until I get it all done. These are gonna go into the oven, like I said, 350 degrees, and then they're gonna bake for 10 minutes. Um, if you need a little bit longer, everyone's oven is a little bit different, so you may need 11 minutes or 12 minutes, depending on your oven. So anyway, I don't want them to be overcooked because I don't want them to be hard and crunchy. I want them to stay soft and smooth and just delicious. So the next step, of course, you guys will be waiting for nothing, but here they go. Here are the completed cookies. I don't know what's going on with my lighting here. I think I got too much light on because I'm trying to record it on my iPhone and I'm also trying to record it on my uh, on my camera. So I think I got too much light going on because it's kind of washed out my cookies. But here you go, guys, here are the cookies. Some of them I put a little bit of flaky salt on them and some of them just have the sugar um, from the crisscross, but I wanted to have a little contrast in flavors. So anyway, you guys, thank you for watching my videos. And as always, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe so that you can get all of my new videos. Thanks for watching, goodbye.